Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about meaning, characteristics and interventions of organizational development. So what is organizational development? Organizational development is a process which we use to enhance effectiveness of organization as well as well-being of its member through some interventions. Organizational development is the process which we use to enhance effectiveness of organization as well as well-being of its members through some intervention means in organizational development with the help of some intervention or we can say that with the help of some programs we increase effectiveness of organization and well-being of its members. Now we are going to talk about characteristics of organizational development. First characteristic is ongoing process. Organizational development is not a one time task. This is ongoing process. This is continuous process and it will last till the existence of organization. Second is planned change. Organizational development is planned change process. Every step of organizational development is based on careful planning and analysis of future possibilities. Next characteristic is long term focus. Organizational development make a long time period plan to increase effectiveness of organization. Not short time period plan which only work for two or three months. Next is dynamic in nature. Organizational development is dynamic in nature because it can change according to change in environment. Last is problem oriented. Organizational development is problem oriented process because it search causes of problem and find out as much as solution to solve problem. Now we are going to talk about organizational development interventions. In short we can say that OD interventions. OD interventions are some activities, actions or programs which we use to increase the effectiveness of organization. OD interventions are some activities, actions or programs which we use to increase the effectiveness of organization. And we will discuss behavioral interventions of organization development and non-behavioral interventions of organization development. Behavioral intervention include sensitivity training, role playing, management by objective and grid organization development. And non-behavioral intervention include organizational redesign, job enrichment and work design. One by one we discuss about each. Firstly, we are going to talk about behavioral interventions. Behavioral interventions focus on changing the behavior. Behavioral interventions focus on changing the behavior. And first behavioral intervention is sensitivity training. Sensitivity means awareness and understanding of feeling. Training is act of teaching. In sensitivity training, we bring 10 to 15 members together and they have open discussion on some topic so that they can understand themselves and others in better way. Second behavioral intervention is role playing. Role playing means imitating the behavior of someone. Role playing means imitating the behavior of someone or we can say the doing acting of someone. In role playing we create one conflicting situation and people are assigned a different role to play. For example, our conflicting situation is customer is very angry uh, because he has lot of complaint from your product and one person will play role of customer and other will play role of salesman and we will say to salesman deal with your customer and a role playing will give us so much information about a real life situation. Next behavioral intervention is management by objectives. Management by objectives is the process of setting specific objectives for your employees so that they can know what they are supposed to do. Management by objectives is the process of setting specific objectives for your employees so that they can know what they are supposed to do. But why management by objectives is very important? Because it increases precision of planning process or we can say that it increases quality of planning process. 
obviously of our planning based on our objective second is it reduce gap between employees and organization goal because we set employees goal based on organization goals last is it encourage in performance appraisal through the process of goal setting and evaluation here we measure performance of each employees based on the goals which they have achieved next to behavioral intervention is grid development grid development is based on blake and mutons famous leadership model it called managerial grid model and managerial grid model is based on two dimension concern for people and concern for production means this model basically tell us being as a leader or manager how much concern we should show for our employees and production and this model identified five types of leadership style impoverish management country club task management middle of road and team management and according to this model team management is best leadership style and manager should adopt this style because in this style manager shows high concern for their production as well as for their employees now we are going to talk about non behavioral intervention and first non behavioral intervention is organizational redesign as we know redesign means design or change everything again and organizational redesign means we are changing or redesigning organization structure technologies or processes so that we can make it more efficient for example we are moving from project to matrix structure earlier we had project structure but now we are moving from project to matrix structure so that we can perform well next known behavioral intervention is job enrichment job enrichment means we are increasing positions and salaries of our employees so that they can feel motivated job enrichment means we are increasing positions and salaries of our employees so that they can feel motivated in job enrichment we give our employees more decision making planning and controlling power so that they can feel motivated and can perform well next known behavioral intervention is work design work design is a process of defining task and job to achieve organizational as well as employees goal work design is a process of defining task and job to achieve organizational as well as employees goal or we can say that work design content and organize duties task and responsibilities in such a way so that we can easily achieve our organizational as well as employees goal and a rational work design consider organizational structure information flow decision making differences between employees and reward system so this is all about meaning characteristics and intervention of organizational development i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care